going on everybody welcome to another Raspberry Pi tutorial video in this video we're going to be talking about how to stream video from your Raspberry Pi camera module to another computer uh, so if you try to look this up a lot of times you're going to find uh, something on motion and what motion is is it's a kind of like a security program that works on motion detection and so you could you know you would use it as like a security camera uh, for our purposes and for I think what a lot of people might want to stream video for it's not for necessarily a motion detection system for security they're just trying to stream video so that's what we're going to be talking about here so the first thing we want to do is we're on our desktop here and we're going to want to open up the terminal now in the terminal, what, uh, what we're going to want to do first is run sudo raspi-config. If you haven't done this to enable your camera yet, basically is what we're doing. So if you've just now plugged in your camera, uh, you'll need to enable the camera um, and all that. But uh, I've already enabled mine, so I don't need to. The next thing you're going to want to do is we're going to want to run sudo app get install vlc. And what this is going to do is it's going to install VLC Media uh, Player and all the uh, things with it onto our Raspberry Pi. Now, uh, anyone who's familiar with VLC Media Player, uh, it's just this phenomenal free software. You can do all kinds of things with it. Watch and listen to just about any sort of file type. You can convert files. You can do all kinds of stuff with VLC. It's crazy. And I found out that you can also stream video with, with VLC. So there's just a million things that this program does. So we're going to use VLC. We're going to stream the data to VLC here. And then we're going to use the HTTP protocol to stream it to our Windows PC. So you will also need to install uh, VLC Media Player on your, I guess you could have it on Windows, Linux, whatever. You need to put VLC Media Player on another, uh, whatever computer you're trying to stream to. So I've already installed VLC, so I didn't have to do it. But after you do this, it'll ask you, yes, you want to install? Yeah, you'll hit yes. So now you've got VLC. Now make sure you have VLC on your other uh, computer as well. And the next thing that we want to do is we run the following here. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. I'll put a link in the description of exactly what you need to do. It's a very long um, input for all the commands and stuff. But I'll explain what's happening. Oh, my goodness, I can't paste it. Uh, let me open oh, I'm not typing this out uh, we'll come over here and we have VLC so let me go ahead this should work now okay so what this is gonna do is it's gonna record via RAS by vid so that's with the camera module um, and it's gonna start immediately it's going to horizontally flip the stuff that way it's we're not getting like this weird mirror effect going on the width height frames per second all that Basically, what all this other stuff means is on port 8160, we're going to be transferring this data using HTTP um, and the file type H264. Okay, so basically, it's just going to ST out this stuff. So let's go ahead and hit enter, and that'll start streaming, hopefully. Now, you might see a lot of weird things like this. Um, this is working. So. Now what you want to do is open up VLC on another computer. So I'm actually on my desktop, so I'm going to open that up. And let me make it a proper size, I suppose. Okay, so here's VLC. You want to go to Media, um, open a network stream, and then here's where you're going to access HTTP colon slash slash the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. If you don't know it, do ifconfig and then colon port 8160 since that's what we specified and then hit play and what we get is the stream where is my oh, it's staring at a box but now we can do some really wild stuff okay so now we're looking at the computer but apparently it's not good enough <laughs> uh, anyway okay so that is the camera module for us and we are streaming data from it. My room is a massive mess, actually. I am in the process of moving. This will probably be one of the last videos I film here. But anyways, that's it. Uh, that's all you have to do. Now it's streaming video. It's not like, I don't know if you use Motion JPEG, but it's pretty poor quality in the frames per second if you try to give it anything uh, realistic at all in the frames per second. Uh, it lags out pretty bad. So. <laughs> Um, that just wasn't doing it for me uh, whereas this is actually quite good um, and I do have that I've got a video of me streaming from my card and my PC the Raspberry Pi card that we made um, so anyways that's it if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support and the subscriptions 
and until next time.